find the best move for black. Well, straight away it looks like there's a load of forces attacking stuff, but let's see what they're doing to us. Just got to check on here. You can hide here, or you can take and he's looking for his queen to squish down here somehow, but that's going to take a few moves. Simple thing is obviously just putting the check on the queen here. Pushes. take rook takes no he doesn't have to do that so if we take then he just goes no, he's not going to do that just yet because we'll take it back so the rook takes rook takes That's not going to work, you know. Boom, boom. Rook is still here. Takes. It's not going to take because the rook will just take. So rook takes. Move the rook. Ooh, move the rook across. Rook comes down with a check on our king. That is not the way to go, dude. So that's there. Rook safe. His rook is going to be there. So if it's going to be there, queen comes down, puts a check on the king. King moves. Yeah, still don't look good. It can't be that then, can it? It can't be that. Simple move. Can't be that. Rook here. Behind the pawn. Night check. Damn. How do we stop this night check? Just have to get rid of the knight, don't we? I think we just have to get rid of the knight, even though it looks simple. But we do have this pawn thing going on here. Don't really know how we're dealing with that. All depends on what the opponent does next, doesn't it? Any way of getting rid of this pawn, queen? Nope. Queen. Putting a three on there, but still, yeah, stopping that. Bring the queen down, stopping that. That don't look good. It, don't look, it looks like nothing. It's not. It's not forcing enough. And this is what we said last time. The force was about, you know, managing the king area. <laughs> Well, it's going to be wrong because it looks so simple, you know, obviously taking here. That's dropping. Hmm. I do not know. I do not know. I think that's a big mistake, isn't it? This is going to drop. Then we take the queen. It's not going to take it just yet because it will get taken. The rook takes the rook. said the queen was coming to put a check on I don't know how good that is all right well this is gonna get a big massive X oh oh interesting times it's not done what we said 
I'm telling you, they don't choose the best moves. So I don't care. <laughs> so it's, I'm facing our king, looking for a checkmate threat. Do we bring the queen down? See, now all that calculation that I've done, look how long I took over it. Well, I obviously don't play like you, so if I come here, put a check on his king, and that's lit also on the queen, it's kind of forced to take, isn't it? Because the queen doesn't have any protection, so the queen takes, then the pawn takes. So we've got two rooks. This pawn is a little bit shady. Takes, and then this pawn is going to be a bit shady. Comes down, takes. We take his rook, comes and puts a check on. We move the king to attack the pawn. He can come round and wrap, but we can take the pawn. It's the only thing I can see. I don't, I don't think we need to be fancy. That's got a check on the king. Also attacking the queen. Pawns here. I think we can manage these pawns. Yep. So I'm going with that. Oh, we got it. Okay, stop now. I don't need to do any more. So we take. Why is it going on and on? Yes. Oh, another 30 minute and 10 second game. Somebody's actually started. And they're blasting out the moves. Okay, right. So let's take this pawn. Oh, fried liver's going to hit me, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, I can feel it in my water. Let's bring the bishop here. See, I really wanted to get this pawn out, but I suppose that'll do. Ooh, okay, yeah, pawns again. Coming to hit the knight. Could hit the bishop. But, mm, yeah, do I, I don't like these positions, do I? I don't know why I put myself in them. It's because of taking that pawn there. I've messed it up. So they're going to hit our knight. We go to the side here. Or they're going to hit this knight. This is why I like pushing this pawn. Let's push this pawn anyway. Because we do like stopping this. If they do push down here. They're blocking their own bishop anyway. So we can attack. That makes sense to me. I must avoid getting into this position. Because I don't, I don't like it genuinely. So let's develop the knight. It's attacking the pawn as well. It's not saying we don't know how to deal with it. It's just that my brain goes, oh, damn, I've got to start thinking proper now. So I'm familiar with it, but I don't like it. You know, you'll find games like that or positions like that where you are familiar with it, but you just don't like it. And you know how to get out of it, but it just takes... A little bit more thought because it, it disjoints your usual type of position that you won't want to be in. So this is coming, that's coming here. Bishop doesn't want to get taken, goes back to here or to here. Make sure we give space for the knight because this pawn is going to attack it. So that's the basic principle of what I've seen before. They might be wanting to rush and go on castle, which may help us. Happy we've got this bishop here, because if they do go here, take, take, take situation, at least the bishop can defend if the queen can come down. Okay, so they've castled. So happy that they've castled. So any one of these types of manoeuvres we're familiar with, we just don't like it because it doesn't really get my pieces working together as a team. It's just very defensive and singularly defensive. Oh, that's okay. So let's... I'm going to go here because this pawn is just going to drop in front of our bishop. So we'll go for an x-ray through. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bit of pressure on this pawn. Like I said, 
don't like the position, but we try. We hopefully have got some sort of understanding as to how to try and defend against any blind spot attacks that the opponent's going to be putting in place. So they look quite meaty. These look quite, look quite meaty. He needs to be, well, doesn't need to be. If he's looking at putting pressure on my game, he needs to be working with these pawns down here. So we did say we're just going here and here just to lean on this pawn. So if they keep attacking, opening up space around the king, that's slightly better for us later on. Got a delivery coming, so it might door might knock anytime soon. But it is a 30 minute game, so I've got yeah, so now we've got to start. So we'll take and we can maneuver the knight. Do where do we want to move it to? We can move it here or we can take the queen off the board. I'm gonna take the queen off the board first. I think we mentioned something like that. And Can bring the knight all the way back. Get this here. Attacking an unprotected piece. The rooks aren't linked up at the moment, so that's um, feeling a little bit hemmed in. But we can play from the back. Just to, yeah, there we go. So let's just bring this here. It's giving us free reign to attack here. I think the bishop will come and attack it though. What else is there? Do, do, ba, 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 ba. Move the knight, give space. It's all it's all feel feels a bit slow at the moment, but the opponent's got to prove the advantage that they believe they have. So we can sit and wait, just keep reacting, counter attacking, hopefully trying to find those better positions. So the bishop's gone and protected the pawn. So is that a loss in tempo that we can take advantage of? A little bit of a check on the king to let them know that we're still in the game. Yep. And what else can we do? Not there yet because he's got two pieces. Could attack the bishop to say, well, what are you doing? Let's attack the bishop. Just to let them know you're in the game. Because being defensive all the time really doesn't cut it. I think you have to give them things to think about. Because they're not attacking now. They've gone back on the defensive when they've got a really good position. Let's attack. And the pawn has saved itself. So it's tempting to just go shooting here now because we feel the wrath of the pawns coming down. I'm actually going to push this pawn up here. Bishop's got no protection. Rooks are jammed in at the moment, but we could come here, but I feel their rook is just gonna come shooting down to attack the pawn. So we're gonna move here. The rook is gonna come down here. We do have potential for the bishop to attack it, but it's too late because it's going to take the pawn here. So the principle could be that we push this pawn first. What's his other attacks? This knight's jumping in here as well. Space is all over the place. Mm -hmm. Right, so I think I'm pushing this pawn first with the idea of potentially getting this here with the bishop potentially coming out a little bit. I'm really wanting the knight to have the space here. Oh my god, look at that. They're falling right for it. Well, not falling for it, but they've gone with what we've said. Does it just go behind, forgetting the knight is here? As we said, the bishop's coming here to attack the rook. Just to unsettle it a bit. So the answer process is attacking the king or the king area type thing but more so with a team. So when I'm looking at White's position at the minute, I'm thinking, is it really a team 
effort at the moment or is it single attacks? So the Rooks under attack, let's hope, fingers crossed, that they forget that their Rook is there and we can take it off the board. Fingers crossed. It can happen. Oh! <laughs> we'll take it. Thank you. That's that's surreal. But it doesn't mean we've won the game at all. It just means we can hopefully try and... Oh, they've left the game. I'm, I'm not surprised, really. But, you know, they could have still carried on. But that's really funny, is that it's still off Bishop. 